everyone, Polly Wog here, and today I am going to show you how to make your own car that will be powered by a balloon. So, in your kit, you've got parts for a car. Mine are already decorated. You've got two straws. You've got two pre-cut wooden dowels. You've got four wheels, a rubber band, and a balloon. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt my camera down so you can see my hands working. A few extra things you need to have on hand is a pair of scissors, some scotch tape or duct tape if you have that, and a hot glue gun is handy to have as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt my camera down. So to get started, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and decorate your car first. If you choose to decorate it, go ahead and decorate it. I didn't choose to decorate this one and left it plain. This one, somebody decorated for me, so this is the one I'll build with. Now, once you have your car decorated, the first thing you're gonna do is start assembling it. So, to begin, you're gonna wanna take one of your straws and cut it in half. Once you cut your straw in half, you're going to stick one of the wooden dowels through the straw, and you want to have it so there's a little piece of wooden dowel sticking out from either side, just like this. That's where you're gonna attach your two wheels. If there's not enough space between the wooden dowel and the straw, you're gonna to wanna to cut the straw just a little bit more. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other set of wheels. This one doesn't have quite as much space, so I'm just gonna trim it just a little bit. Just like that. And now you can see there's a nice amount of room for the wheels to pop on. Just stick them right on. All right, so now I've got my wheels. They seem to be working great, so I'm gonna move on to the next part, which is gonna be assembling my car. Now you'll see in your kit, the bottom of your car has little spots where you can pop out that extra piece of foam. And you'll wanna do that for all four of the spots on your car. Mine's already ready to go. So once it's ready, you're gonna attach the car part into those little holes. Just like that. So the part that's more narrow is the front and the part that's a little bit wider is the back. Now, if your car is not really sturdy like this, you may wanna add a little bit of hot glue at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you can see I just went ahead and put hot glue on the bottom and that's just so that car part really stays in there. Mine, I ripped a little bit when taking off those extra parts so I just decided to glue it to reinforce it. Now I wanna let that glue completely dry before I move on to the next step. So I'm gonna set that off to the side and while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the, the motor really of the car, which is gonna be the balloon. So I'm gonna take my straw that is still full straw. I'm gonna stick the balloon just slightly in there. I've got about this much of the straw in there. So just a little bit more than an inch. Then I'm gonna take my rubber band and I'm gonna fasten the balloon to the straw by putting it around a few times. Now I want it to be tight enough so that air can go into the balloon, but I don't want it to be too tight that air will be restricted from blowing up the balloon. So I'm just gonna make that rubber band go on there three or four times until it's nice and secure. Just like that. Now, you wanna make sure your balloon can still be powered. So you're gonna take the top of the straw and that's where you're gonna inflate the balloon. My balloon still inflates, so it looks like that'll be a perfect fit. Now, 
This is where we're gonna have our scotch tape or our duct tape come into handy. I do not recommend hot gluing your wheels, but you can try that if you'd like to. I recommend using some scotch tape. So I'm gonna take a strip of the scotch tape. I'm gonna turn my car upside down. And now right where those little spots were where the top of my car get, got put in is where I'm gonna attach the wheel. So I'm gonna set the wheel in the middle Take my piece of tape, stick it down on one side and down on the other. So it's just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the back wheel. Now remember you wanna try and get them lined up so that they have a good chance of spinning. Sometimes an extra hand here might help, but I'm gonna hold it with one of my fingers and then I'm gonna tape it down with my other hand, just like that. Now before I add the last part of my car, I want to make sure that right now my car wheels spin when I move it, just like that. So it looks like it's going to work just fine. Now if you notice your wheels are really crooked or really off center, you might want to take the tape off on the bottom and readjust them. This is one of those projects that you'll practice and try again and again until you get it just right. It might not work perfectly the first try, but you just have to troubleshoot a little bit if that's the case. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my balloon with the straw and I'm gonna attach it to the inside middle part of the car. So I'm gonna take a piece of scotch tape. And now this is the part where you wanna be really careful. If you put your balloon too far out, there's gonna be two problems. One, it's gonna be really hard to inflate the balloon. And two, the balloon will drag on the surface so it won't actually power your car. You actually want your balloon to be kind of inside the car. So you'll see that I have the part here with rubber band inside of the car and just a little bit of the balloon sticking out. And likewise, you'll see that I have a very big amount of straw sticking out here and that's how I'll blow up the car to blow up the balloon to power the car. So I'm gonna take that piece of scotch tape and I'm just gonna carefully stick it on that straw and then attach it here to the car. Now this is one of the parts that you might have to troubleshoot if it doesn't work the first time. You might have to readjust where your straw is and I'll show you what I mean by that. So when I inflate my car, so I'm just gonna take it and inflate it Now I'm closing the straw here just so it doesn't let out all the air. And I'm going to just let it go just like that. And I got stuck on my phone case, but you can see that that's how you power the car. Now you can measure to see how far of a distance you go. You can make modifications on the car to see if you can make the design even better. There are lots of different ways that you can improve the design of this car, but all together, it's a really fun way to make a balloon powered car. All right, everyone. I hope you had fun with this mini lesson and I'll see you for the next. Take care.